kinematics. <laughs> Spending months preparing. It's describing Not how mine. objects move. <laughs> Ashley Morris was already stressed. This is my mess of study materials. Getting ready for her advanced placement physics and geography exams. We're anxious. We are freaking out. We're nervous. We don't know what's going on. She was supposed to take her tests in person at her school, Rocky Mountain High School. But COVID-19 forced the College Board to administer all its exams for college credit online for the first time ever, an open book all essay test. And so I finished. I go to hit submit, everything was working fine. I could do anything on that page except for hit the submit button. Ashley says both times the exams would not accept her answers. I'm watching my time count down and I can't do anything. She came out about three o'clock and... Mom, Kirsten Morris burst into tears. And so I'm shaking like a leaf and then I'm crying because I can't do anything. And that's the feeling of helplessness was the worst. The College Board states that 2.9 million students have taken exams with less than 1% unable to submit their answers. That's still about 30,000 kids around the country and it breaks my heart. Part of the College Board statement reads, quote, we share the deep disappointment of students who are unable to submit responses. But she came out of it. She's like, I knew this. I knew it. Now Ashley hopes she's even allowed to take a retest. I had to essentially relearn most of the semester. Which just means she has to prepare all over again. I'm viewing this as I'm being punished by having to take a test again for somebody else's mistake. In Fort Collins, Nelson Garcia, 9 News.